Hi, this is Christopher from Santa Lumbus, and today I will be showing you how to make a alpha, a very cute alpha loom cat charm. And I know, uh, I uh, in the last tutorial I had made, I had done, uh, I had said that I would be doing a alpha loom Steve, Steve tutorial for my next tutorial, but since uh, I don't have much time to do this tutorial. And I had to do my homework. I chose to do this instead because it's way smaller and doesn't take as much time, like half of the time. And so let's get started. Today we will, we will be using alpha and alpha loom. Alpha comb. A rainbow and hook. It doesn't really matter, like I always say. You don't have to have metal, but it's good. And this is probably the only tutorial, one of the only tutorials that I will be making that will have this. But we we need to have scissors because we need to cut a band for the whiskers. And uh, we will be needing three uh, black buffalo bands. Five light pink off of bands, and you can uh, use uh, regular tan bands, but you have to double it, which should kind of look weird, because they do uh, kind of stretch things out when you double them, and you also need a lot of whatever color cat you're going to be making, like, right, for this tutorial, I'll be making a gray cat, because that's the color of my cat, named Pilchard. And uh, so you can make it orange, black, whatever color you want. And you can also change the nose color to black. Because if you have a like a orange cat, then you probably want to use black for the nose color. But the ears are always the same. So let's get started. So the first bands we're going to be placing are two gray bands twisted on the two outside rows. Like that, and push them down. And now, usually uh, I wouldn't do this, but I learned this new technique. You can uh, put first. You put well. Actually, it's from my brother. He taught me. You put two bands on the same one. That's kind of cool. And if you watch some of Chase's tutorials, he may use this. He actually has used it for Pikmin, but I chose to use it differently, except it's not all, all three. And like that, and first I looped the bottom one up on each one, not, not one of the two bands that we just placed, the bottom one that was twisted like that. And now, if you ever seen his, if you have ever seen his tutorial, of pigment, then you know uh, that you take over the, that band, one of the top ba each band to another one, except for the bottom one, like that, right here and here, and then you do the other side, like that, and now. We are going to do a, a different thing. If you ever, if you have ever seen our first tutorial, that was made by Chase. If you've ever seen the Alpha Connector tutorial, then that would that would be a, a useful thing. To, that would be a good thing to watch if you're trying to do this tutorial. Because if you have to do that technique, if you have ever used actual RAM regular connector band, the actual rainbow and connector band technique, then it'll be a little easier, but not as... Okay, if, you, if you've ever seen connector band, the connector band technique, it should look, look like that. I need my fingers. Well, uh, I'll teach you how to do it if, you do, if you're a little lazy and you don't want to go to another tutorial. 
It is hard if you have big fingers, though, because you have to pull. Okay, now put one band inside the other and pull it like that. And pull, pull it like you were doing a single just with your hands, except you're not cap banding it. And then just pull. both sides of that other band and sometimes you have to help your hook I mean help your hand with your hook so you can get the connector band off one of your fingers and not whatever it's called stopping your blood circulation or something and now you put it on one of the sides and it doesn't really matter how it gets placed on, but I like it getting placed on perfectly. See, mine isn't as perfect as it usually is, because I like that. And now what I do is just pull it so it's even as it as I could make it be. Like that. Where the white is on one side and the gray or whatever color you're doing. Okay, and now we are going to do that same thing, just the opposite way. Or, well, same process, just facing the other way. I'll show you one more time. One bit, it doesn't really matter which band you put in first. I mean, inside the other. But then you do that again. Pull that. And it can be a little tricky sometimes. Which it always is to me, because, uh... Oh, and if you've seen the Chase's Pikmin tutorials, uh, you can also see that he uh, uses these. He uses his own technique that he created. <laughs> in his tutorials. So, uh, everything pretty much that I've, that, well, a few techniques that I'm using from this tutorial is from one of my brother's tutorials, which is kind of funny. And now, like that, make sure you don't pull too hard because they might break. That can happen. And my band was almost overlapping the other. And I went perfectly on that time. And now, you, if you want to uh, just, uh, if you didn't re quite get that, then you can rewind the tutorial back to when I did the first one. Because I'm going to do it off screen because it's a little better and easier for me. And it went on my finger again. And this one's not going to go on perfectly. It's kind of frustrating if it almost goes on the loom, but then it's like on the one of your fingers. Okay, this one might go on. Perfect. And if you're already done these, then you're just gonna have to wait. Sorry. Scissors. And now, one last time, for me. If you're nine or like somewhere on my 
brother's age, then this should be easier for you. Because I am 11, no, 12 now. And I have big fingers. I had, I had to put it on my finger on purpose. That's definitely not going to go perfectly because that's just going to fall on my finger again. Or not. But it did not go perfect. And now, loop all four of the bottom two, I mean, the bottom bands. Oh, sorry, I didn't edge on my nose. And if you like that part, we're doing it again. I know some of, some of you are doing it again. And oh, oh I'm so sorry. I, I messed up in the color. I, I forgot. I thought there were only four. There's eight. Or nine, actually. For me. I messed up. But it's okay. Everyone makes... And I probably will need more gray because I'm not even halfway done and I'm like down to 20. Nope, I don't think I'm going to get through the cat without losing, I mean, using all of them. For this tutorial, we are not connecting anything because, yeah, because if you have ever seen Chase's winged Pikmin tutorial, then you might know why. And you might find an easier way to make these alpha connector bands, but I know no other way. Actually, I do. It's just very hard for me. And my man's off. Each other. And some of you must be glad when I say this that. This is the only part of the cat where you're gonna have to do this. Yay! It does hurt your fingers sometimes. And it fell on my finger again. It's always the pointer finger that it falls onto. Because that's always the finger that I have on it. Sorry, I'm just. It was just. Her. And now we have one more of those to do. Finally. They do fall out a lot, so... And then after this part, it, it's pretty easy. Except for the last, last part, where you have to put the whiskers on. Because the whiskers can slip out a lot. When you're putting one of them in, the other can slip out. Because in these cats, you know, 
this cat tutorial. I'm only putting two because it's just too hard. It'd be great if you could put more, but I don't think I could. just fast forward or forwarded the video and now pull the bottom four up the connector band well technically it's A because it's A band oh gosh I am so glad I that any that anything that well, nothing broke I just slingshot it on just Make sure to grab all of the parts because one of the bands is not cooperating. Like that. And now we are finally just going to put two gray or cat, color, cat fur color. Just normal. Nothing, just gray. And now take these up. We are done with these. And that was the ears. Right here. The thing, the part that we just did are these. And I also forgot to mention about the three bands, which for any big, long, or fat thing that looks like it has seven rows, has, well, it should have clear bands. I know, my brother uses clear bands, just twists them, makes them tighter, but I use alpha one bands because it makes them, makes the color blend in. And now we are going to just put that clear band there with all seven grays there. And I'll just put seven more grays. Like that. Lift them up, go to the other side, push them down, and you can pull the cat band off your cat's ears a little bit, and you can see them forming. You have to get even further in the cat to see them complete and not stretched out. And now we are finally going to be using something other than the light pink and your, your cat's fur color. We are going to be using black. Which actually I don't think you want to use black eyes for a black cat because then... You wouldn't be able to see the eyes, <laughs> and that would be bad, unless your uh, your cat is sleeping, which that would be cute, but I'm not making a sleeping cat. Now gray, no, and then we just do gray for the rest, like that, or your, your color for the rest. I take them up. And 
now you can pull your ears a little bit more. And it'll be easier with your hook because. And uh, you see, this side is what I thought would be best, but my other side seems even better than that. The is a hole there, but the other side looks perfectly fine. So that's what I'm gonna be. That's where I'm gonna be putting the whiskers. Yeah, for determining where the whiskers should go, you should always do the side with the best looking part. I mean that looks the best out of the two sides, which will probably be um, the second one with this side. And now, uh, lots of gray. Just all gray. Like that. <clears throat> and like that. And push your bands down. Pulling your ears. And now you can see them. And you little tiny ball of thing. This side is better to me. You can pull them up. And now you're going to be using our final block. Oh no, I messed up. Nope, not black. I'm sorry, I meant there is no black. Do we? It doesn't really matter what side you put your clear on, it just because this cat is completely symmetrical. And just put your nose color in the middle there. And then the rest are your your cat's color. And And now we are about halfway done with the head. Not counting the whiskers though. We are halfway done. As you can see, the, the ears look really cute. And you can also see, when you pull, see the eyes there in the bottom. And then you're just going to put three rows of gray. All of them are like three boring rooms of gray. That's the first one. And then open up and do that. Push them down, bring your ears a little out. I know you can see your, your cat's eye. And now, more gray. That's where I need more gray. And now, this is the second row. And even though my cat is gray, the whiskers are also going to be gray because that's the closest color to pretty much any cat's whiskers. Unless they're like white. <laughs> well, there's something you can't really tell. So my cat's whiskers are going to be gray like it. Like that. And now one more row of gray. I'm not going to have anything happen to it. 
actually four more rolls, just one thing, one of them is going to have something happen to them. The last one's not going to be normal. It's going to be a little different. Something like that. And take it up. that and now one more row And now, like I usually do for heads, we are going to put these two bands on these two. With our hook, take that one over to there and that one over to there, like that. And this one over to here and that one over to there, like that. And now I'll put another clear band. Now this is the last row of our cat. But we are not done it. Okay, this is kind of weird. I ended up with one band left in my pile. And that's how many we need for the whiskers, because we have to cut it in half. And I think that is kind of creepy, because I didn't pick out how many I wanted. <laughs> and that creeps me out. And like I usually do when I end my charms, I pull, pull the one side over to the other side. Like so. I put one, two, three, four, five. Like that. <clears throat> and now you're going to take the bottom of the bottom part of each band up. Like that. And I'm going to do the last one half with, with it facing me because it's a little hard. It's facing you or the, or the person watching. And now, like I always do, and like you, like you always do, when I, if you've ever done my charms, then you pull. Okay, that. Came out, but that's okay because it's ar it's already connected like that. And now we're to the rest off screen because it was a, it's a little easier and they won't fall off as as often. And now we are almost done our cat. We have that one band. Make sure and keep it like that and just make sure it doesn't Okay, my cat has a little bump in it, but that's okay. And for some reason my cat looks a little different, but that's okay. Because it is a gray cat. And now like I usually do. I'm going to pull through there, making sure that doesn't go. And now you're going to pull through there and get through there. 
Okay, I didn't pull that right. So I'm going to... And I'm going to redo that because that just messed up my cat. Made it look weird. Sorry about this. It's a big problem. And finally. And now that that should be like what it would look like. And you can make your cat different like I accidentally did. But it's okay because he still looks like her. My cat's a she. And now we are going to use our scissors. Now to cut that in that and make sure the whiskers are about the same size. And you could have made your cat one row shorter, but made it one row longer on accident. But everyone makes mistakes. And yes, sometimes, and so the easiest thing to do is just pull your hook through, through, the, through the nose, so it'll look like that, and then just put your whiskers in it. There's one. I almost forgot where my other one was. And sometimes when you are pulling your hook out of your nose, then you may pull one of the bands out. And this can be one of the most frustrating parts of this. Cause it, I've done this twice and it has tricked me. And I just, I'm just going to take it out. Cause that did not work. Only this would just stay open so I could put both of them in.
Sorry about this. This is taking me a while. And and this is what it should look like, except I made it like a whole row bigger on accident, but it's okay, everyone makes mistakes. And uh, this is what it should look like together like that this is the orange one I had before and this is my new one which I had actually made a, a, a row bigger but if you make another cut then you should try to make it a row shorter like my first one or actually my second one I made one before and yes uh, my sneak peek, uh, finally. This will be my next tutorial. I will be doing it sometime during my spring break, which starts on Thursday, but I won't be doing it on Friday or Saturday because I have an important competition to do called Science Olympiad. And it's fun, but I won't be able to do that. I mean, I won't be able to do this tutorial on either of those days. So... See you soon. Bye.